I'm getting on well with Dylan now. He's still with Rianne and I'm actually fine with it. At first it was hard. It was pretty hard to deal with because obviously that, that was another one of my friends that he'd then been with. Like there's nothing that you can do to stop it or there's no point you sitting here getting upset and angry over it, just let it go. They're gonna do what they wanna do, you go do what you wanna do. So I just sort of like really focused on me. Today, for the first time, we're all meeting up together. We're off to a music festival for parents and kids. Dylan's bringing Mackenzie and Dulcie May because he's doing the childcare this week. Yeah, we're going to see your mummy. And daddy too. Yeah, and daddy. And Dulcie. I don't think Rianne wanted to come, um, but she doesn't want him to go on his own with me. I think Dylan's going to be feeling a bit awkward. You look a bit nervous. <laughs> uh, it's for the kids. <laughs> yeah, it's for the kids. I'm starting to get nervous about seeing them now, but I'm determined to put on a brave face. It's insane. The reason why I've asked you to come round for a chat is because I just feel stressed constantly because there's no point of communication. It's like, I can rather ring you and you're not answer or I just can't get through to you completely and only because the phone's off. God forbid anything was to happen to this baby, how would I get a hold of you? What do you want me to say? We'll say something because I'm not having a one side side of conversation. What happened to say? I have to ring you about twenty times to get through to you. Why well, am I having right, to pay for all this? Oh, and what you're paying nursery? Nursery? Yeah, yeah nursery, yeah. Nursery. I'm only, do, I'm only doing three days a week and work. So what? She's being left on my toes now. I'm being left holding the not baby. Not really, no. Not really. Not really, right. You need to sort that out. Because you have abandoned me with all the financial stresses of this property. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. I am working, trying to keep a roof above our head and trying to do the best I can be for our child on my own. Yeah, do you well, know yeah. how stressful well, it I'm is? I sat there sleeping on the couch or a sofa bed or the floor, yeah, trying to find out where I can have my daughter and how... Because I want to see my daughter, but it's... Well, I've asked you to come home several times and you said you don't want to come home. home. I don't want to come right. home. I can't well, stand you. Well, there you go. Can't you stand can't stand me. Yeah, I don't want to be with you, can't. right? So where do we right. go from here? Go in. See in a bit. I'm really upset with my mum's fiance, Diego. Ooh, that looks lovely. He's taken over my family meal and I'm really hacked off. Don't try this sauce. You say you may not like it, but put chips in. You've done a good job, I'm going to go. Get here now! And now Brooklyn started playing up. Where to go? Get off that now! It couldn't get any worse. Stop it! Don't smack! Don't smack. <laughs> you touch anything, you go upstairs to bed, I promise you. Right? I wanted to make you all a nice meal, right? Because I've never done that in my life. I'm the one who's been mourning about family time and all that. And I just get him taken over, and then I've got Brooklyn just doing this and that. It's just. It, it just annoys me. I've just said to her then, no, Diego, you play it up. You've done everything. Just Brooklyn, just constantly rah, 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 and I'm like, I can't do it. Come lay me down. I genuinely feel like sometimes I'm a bit of a failure. I just think, what can I do to prove everyone wrong, like what can I do to, you know, prove that I'm trying my best. I feel like my son hates me, I feel like my family hate me. I feel like everyone hates me and I'm just like, where did I go wrong in life, Johnny? You know